Welcome back, Confluencians. Wow, it is Christmas Eve here, and I just want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. And with that, the Confluence has put out some Christmas events, and so we want to cover those really quickly to give you the heads up so you can get involved. But first, if you haven't already, you need to head to the confluence.world and register an account. At the end of this video, there will be a quick little tutorial walkthrough of doing that so you can get that account set up, download the game, and then begin to play the games that I'm going to mention here in this video. So for this, without no further ado, let's go ahead and hop into Twitter here. Again, oh, it's called X now. That's right. Okay, see, I told you guys I'll never, I will never get that right. So let's go ahead and dive in. Boom. Here we are. We are on Matt Vegg's Twitter post here, he says here, the five gameplay modes chosen for the single player portion of the Confluence and Aura Exchange hosted holiday Web3 gaming tournament are included in this thread. Awesome NFT prizes for first through fifth place in each game mode. Winners can only win once across all categories. And so all these game modes, right? This gives opportunity for many people to win. So if you got first place and all five game modes that are mentioned in here, you're only going to get a chance to win one of those. And so then if you win first place in, in one game mode and you had first place in another one, that other one is going to default to the next in line. So basically like the second place, right? And so you can only win once. You can't, it's not winning once in each game mode. It's just winning once across the board, right? So without, um, going to any further into detail on that, let's go ahead and take a look at the game modes here. So there are five game modes. Uh, the first being is Star Pilot 3. Uh, the second one <clears throat> is going to be Drive It Truck, and that is going to be 2. And there's pictures, or you can see it, the screenshots here. And I'll go ahead and walk through it as well in the game itself, just to give you an idea. So let's go ahead, go, let's go back to number one here. We got Star Pilot 3. Number two is Drive It Truck uh, 2. So that's level 2. And then we have third here, scroll back up, Star Collector 1. And then we have fourth, which is Orbex 1. And then the fifth is going to be the night that Stevie Bullion saved Christmas. This is a fantastic game. Big shout out to the Confluence team. I mean, Matt, Nate, Mr. Diesel, the entire Confluence team, you guys are crushing it with this stuff. To think, I mean, you like whipped this up for Christmas. I mean, this took a lot of effort and a lot of work and truly no other project in Web3 is producing games in this ecosystem just like you guys are because you guys are really smashing it. You are hitting it out of the park and doing it on a whole other level. And so we all truly appreciate you for that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the game here. I'm going to go ahead and bounce in there real quick and just give you guys a taste of each game mode. So let me go ahead and start with, uh, let's see, first is Star Pilot 3. So I'm going to have to go in and hit up the game here. Boom. Let's go ahead and turn on a little soundage. And so for that, we're going to hit the Sim Suite area here. Uh, the events area is going to be where you find Stevie Bullion uh, Saved Christmas. Um, and here you're going to want to, for Star Pilot, the third version, you're going to go in here. And then you see you have all these different options, right? So we're going to pick Star Pilot, and then we're going to click Launch. And I'll show you how to get to the area here. So it's Star Pilot 3. So Star Pilot 3 is right here. You can see one, two, three. The rest of these other ones aren't open. So we're going to pick the third one, and we're going to click Launch Now. Just so you know, the objective for this is to disable the Fang Outpost by destroying as many components as possible. We expect a rapid response from their fighter division. I like this, the first one. And again, I've got my Fang shirt on for this video. I had it on another video uh, some time ago. Uh, thank you to the team for this t-shirt. This is amazing. And so it fits, right? The first game here, attack the Fang Outpost. I got the Fang t-shirt on. So let's go. Let's hop in here and take a look. Okay, so here it is. You've got these here. I'm on keyboard and mouse. Uh, so mouse is turning my character like this. I see this thing lit up here. I can shoot at it and then it blows up. I get 50 points. So there's another one over here. I can shoot at that. And then my right, my left click, I'm shooting with the guns. And my right click, I am shooting these projectiles here, these missiles and stuff. So um, 
WASD, here is D and A, W and S. And then if you want a booster, you can hit the tab key on the keyboard. Boom, look at that. All right, now I'm starting to destroy this Fang Outpost and they're not gonna be too happy about it. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna have to defend my ship. I'm gonna have to fight, oh, and here we go. So I'm gonna turn around, got my mouse. Oh, there he is right there, oh no. Boom, I got one. Super cool. I mean, this game mode is just so cool. So you want to get you want to get these points so you can qualify. And the object here is, you know, first through fifth place, you know, like I said, you want to get that high score, get up on the scoreboard, and I'll show you where those leaderboards are so you can stay in touch with who's who and who and what's what on scores. Oh, here's another one. Oh no. Boom. Get that, that fang ship. Okay, next up, we have the second game mode, which is Drive It, and that is the Truck 2. So again, we're going to head back to Sim Suite, and we're going to find Drive It. And then what we're going to do is you have C, B, and T. Uh, you see cars, bikes, trucks. What you're going to want to do is pick Trucks 2. And then, you know, target score here, we have... The truck arena, the target score is 500, okay? Rewards, 30 SimSuite credits, and this puts you on the leaderboard, so you wanna get a high score. You know, again, first through fifth. So we're gonna hit launch, and I'll show you what, what's the object here. You hit trucks, then hit confluence, and then you can pick your truck, okay? So there it is, and then it hits you in here, and here we are. Again, keyboard, I'm using WASD. So here we are, we started, and you know, the object here is to collect. To get in here and look at that, boom. I got five points for that one there. Ten, five points for that one. Uh, this is really cool. I just, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it around the thing. Nope, it's so fun. So the, again, the object is to get these points, right? Oh, here's some, here's some stuff there. We gotta go through these things and and collect these points. This is extremely important for this game. And you only have so much time. And so you wanna make sure you are getting in here and learning how to drive. I haven't been so good at this one yet. Oh, I missed it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. But look at this, look at the detail and the graphics on this. This is truly amazing. I'm at 71 points already. This is good. Oh no, no, I'm gonna flip. Oh no, right off the track, right off the track. Okay. So next up for our third game mode, we have Star Collector again for this one. Hit the Sim Suite button. And what we're going to want to do with Star Collector, this is a dragon one. So we need to go to Space Dragons and hit launch. And then pick your dragon. I want this one here. It looks like I got that. I've got, you can choose your harness. So I can go like this or like this. And so I'll go ahead and equip that and then save that. So I'm saved in there. And then what I want to do is go to quest map. And then for this one, this is star collector one. So I'm gonna click that. That's star collector one, that one I just clicked. And the object here is collect as many stars as you can before the time runs out. Gain additional points by destroying asteroids. So that's right, you can shoot stuff and blow stuff up. So here is my dragon. Here I am, I am using the left mouse button right now. I'm gonna use the right one right there. So I've got my right one and my right, left, <laughs> right and left <laughs> mouse buttons. I'm using WASD and the mouse to turn my dragon. Um, and you can also have a speed boost on this one too, and that is with the tab key, just like with the, the truck. Or not the truck, but the, the spaceship. Look at that, huh? Again, the detail, the detail here. Now, just so you know, and I'm gonna let you figure this out. There's different colors in here, and there's a reason for that. Uh, because different colors have different points attributed to them. 
And so you're going to want to find out which ones have the best point structures to them and then go find those because then you're going to maximize your score and have a better, you know, probability of winning those prizes because you definitely want to get in there and win those NFT prizes, right? We all do. Let's take a look at these ones here. Let's take a look at this color here. See how see how those ones are. So I'm at 202. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, nice points on those. Looks like seven a piece on those. What about the green ones here? Let's take a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. I didn't catch it. How many was it? Let's see. Oh, those are not that much. Those might be a waste of time, that color. Let's check out the pink ones. Ooh, those ones are good too. Those ones seem to be about five, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go check out these blue ones real quick. All right, so we want to collect one of these. We're at 268. 268. So those are about three. So it looks to be that these orange ones are probably your best bet for maximizing your points. So, uh, but you can figure that out on your own. I'm not, I don't have it down to a science here. So definitely get in here, get this high score, right? All right, so for our fourth game mode, what do we have? Fourth game mode is Orbex. So for this one, again, you're gonna wanna hit the Sim Suite button. And then the first one in here is Orbex. This is gonna be Orbex one. Okay, so here it is. You got one, two, three, we want one. Click that and then click launch. Uh, your target score is 250 uh, and you get sim suite credits and you know chance to to win on the leaderboard and win some nft prizes so you have to come in here and choose your character i have all the characters unlocked so i can pick any of them i really like the fast the fast ones are like the steves and the cyborgs but if you are trying to unlock characters and you're new to this game then you're going to want to play these games ahead of time and start accruing sim suite credits so that you can unlock these characters in the store really important to do. So I'm gonna pick Greasy Steve here. We love Greasy Steve. So I'm gonna come over here. And if you're playing this, this is a first and third person shooter. If you hit the P key, you can pop out into third person and actually see your character. Let's go. Ammo crates right here. You're gonna to wanna to get those. And you're gonna to wanna to blow these guys up. They give you orbs, right? And this is important. You wanna collect these orbs and some of them drop health. Some of them drop all sorts of things. And there's some things that you may not want to pick up that they drop that may hurt your progress. So you can see each orb, again, different color orbs have different uh, point systems to them. But in this, you just want to collect all of them, really, in my opinion. Um, this right here, you don't want to touch that. That will shorten your time. But there are ones that lengthen your time. So you have ones that help. You have ones that, you know, slow down everything ones that speed up everything and ones that you know Ooh, see it kind of froze my time a little bit or not froze it but just slows it down a little bit um these right here with a plus sign on it those increase your time so they give you more time to collect orbs which is really important so you can come in here and have your own strategy and learn what is best to pick up i think that's important and make sure you don't run out of ammo in the process um, I try to stay around the ammo crates so that I can go and pick them up when I need to and make sure I'm staying reloaded for all important stuff. So you get in here, run a few minutes, and collect those orbs again. Look at that. I just picked up a lightning bolt. There's uh, all sorts of different things that they drop, so make sure you're picking those up. Okay, for our fifth game, we're going to need to go somewhere else, and that is to the events tab. The fifth game is going to be the night that Stevie Bullion saved Christmas. If you go there to the events tab, click Christmas 2023, and here it is, the night that Stevie Bullion saved Christmas. You have a how to play. You can go ahead and click on that and then get a readout of what you need to do. You got seven minutes on the clock, 5,000 presents to be delivered. Of course, you can deliver more. That puts you on the leaderboard higher, right? And you want that. Um, but 5,000 needs to be delivered in order to earn SimSuite credits. You can see my balance up here. Um, that's important. Those are what unlock characters in this game. Uh, you hear what to do. Fly through rings to deliver presents quickly without stopping. You've got different tiered 
uh, different colored ones with different tiered uh, score systems. Um, you can also hover inside presents until the countdown ends and deliver presents. Um, so you're gonna have to get used to the controls on this. It's kind of like the spaceship, right? And so you've got your mouse. If some people use controller, I don't. So I'm not giving instructions on using controllers. Other people in the community can help you with that. I just don't use controllers. I use keyboard and mouse. So you have similar controls to what the ship is in the dragon. And so you wanna maximize those. Um, do not touch these Grinch cupcakes, right? These will cause gas clouds. Steve does have a gas issue when he eats cupcakes. That's just, it's just a known fact for us here at the Confluence. All Confluencians know this. And so, you know, stay away from those cupcakes. Uh, here we have return to the park district when prompted for bonuses. So you'll have to find that. So we can close out this. Again, you can hover inside pre uh, the presence for uh, bigger point systems. Um, or if you wanna just go through the loops to be a speedy driver. So there's different strategies that you can maximize on to get yourself on the leaderboard. It's important to figure out what's best for you in this game. So now that we've checked that out, we can go ahead and click play now. Um, don't click this one just yet. This is the first and third person shooter. I would recommend playing it, but for this specific part of the tournament, we are playing the night that Stevie Bullion saved Christmas. And so we wanna click this play now button here. So let's go ahead and click that and this will hop us into the game. So late one Christmas Eve. So you can go through this. There's a little, um, just a little walkthrough of everything. Uh, it says, you know, you can skip the intro and go right into the game. It just gives a really cute little uh, intro to everything. It's really cool. So you can definitely take a look at that. But to get into the game to show you how to play it, I'm going to skip this for now just so we can get into the game. So here we are. I am. You got these cupcakes flying around. And what we want to do, I'm using my mouse right now. You see that, how my mouse is? So now when I use that with W, I can do this and move, right? S moves me backwards. And then you've got left and right. So A and D. Again, on this one, you can hit the tab key and it will boost you. And so you're using a combination of the mouse and the keyboard. So there you go, there's that. Oh, there's a, oh, I, I ate a cupcake. Look at this, this is what happens when Steve gets gas blowing Santa up in this cart, you know? So, here we go. There is a present right here. What you're gonna wanna do is try to slide into this thing and not get out of it. It's Sometimes it's hard to stay in there for the, for the amount of time. So, there you go. Boom, 250 presents delivered. Santa is loving it. So let's go. Slide down here. All right, so we got rings. Stay with my cupcakes. And different rings have different point systems. So you may want to find a bunch of these ones here because that's 50 presents right there. If you can find a bunch of those. Oh, what is this? Here is a nice golden present. Let's go ahead and check this out here. See how many presents it delivers. 500 with that one. So if you can find a bunch of those, that might be really good. Oh, here we got another loop up here. And another golden one. Oh, this is so good. Okay. Oh, where is it? Where did it go? Oh, no. I lost it. There it is. Okay, here we go. Ooh, doing good so far. Boom. So there you have it. There is that right there. So last, we want to look at the leaderboard so you can see who's in what place. And then you can keep an eye on it. And you can look at each leaderboard. So when you go to leaderboards... There's leaderboards for each game mode, and that's where you want to maximize your scoring so that you can win these prizes that Matt talked about, right? He said, you know, awesome NFT prizes for first through fifth place. So you have five game modes. That means that there's gonna be 25 winners, and I'm sure because they always do, they do all sorts of extra stuff, so just stay tuned for that as well. But let's go ahead and check the leaderboard. Boom, you go in here, you've got uh, Frey X, uh, different modes, and then you've got Orbex, smash it, the range, drive it. So, you know, with the first one, we have Star Pilot, right? So you click Star Pilot, it was Star Pilot 3. So you come, you click Star Pilot, and then go to 3, and you can see, boom, there we are, right? Here's the, the scoreboard so far. It's got the, the top 12 right here. Um, looks like I'm in fourth, and so you can go there. Um, and then you have the second game mode was drive it. You just click drive it. That was truck, click truck, 
and two, and boom, there you have it. So you can do that with all of the other game modes, right? And so definitely hit, you know, Matt Begg's Twitter so you can see which game modes you need to be involved in. And definitely, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're new to the Confluence and you want to get involved in these tournaments, then stay tuned right after I close this out. I'm going to do, I've got a quick clip that I show that shows how to register that account on the Confluence.world, shows you the website, shows you how to register that account and get in. So definitely get involved. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, Merry Christmas, Confluencians. God bless you guys. I'm out.